So today we are going to continue, I think we are going to continue from part 38, uh, adding unit tests. Actually, I forgot something and that is unit tests and actually I wanted to add unit tests for REST APIs, one of the test performance of uh, REST APIs. But I forgot that what we have here is not REST API, but um, uh, an API that returns um, templates or HTML templates. I'm going to also do the unit testing for one of the methods um, that is defined by ID. Now, this is where we are. We've completed countries, modules, locations, contacts, supplier clients, states. So basically, we've completed the parameters module of this application. So if I go to suppliers, everything is fine. Now, what is unit tests? Unit tests is to be able to test a single aspect of your application. For instance, once one method that returns something, you want to test if it actually returns what is expected to return. So for instance, if I go to this application now and I go to, let's say I want to perform, I want to test um, in our parameters, let's go to controllers. We have the country controller here and we have this find by ID here, right? We want to test this API here to see if it actually do what we want it to do. So we are going to test find by ID, okay? And check whether it works. And then we are also going to write a second test of find by ID again twice. We are going to write two tests. Now you can write as many tests as you want on different methods. Now I'm going to go to um, the tests uh, folder. So you can find the test folder if you go to SRC uh, main, you go to tests. Actually, it's not on that main, but SRC tests, and you can see here, okay? So I'm going to call this uh, country tests, okay? So I'm going to create a new class, Java class. I'm going to call it country tests okay so once you create this class you are going to annotate it with at data jpa test to indicate that we are doing rest api um, tests to test the repository to see if it's returning the actual data we want to return so at data jpa test that's what this class is all about i actually wrote it down so i can actually be uh looking at um my reference book or my reference here so we are going to write two tests the first one is find by id and the second one is find by id uh empty okay so the first test we are going to perform we are going to send a request to the to request for data from the database and we expect it to return something and we are going to test to check if it actually returns what we expect. On the second one, we are going to pass in something, an ID that we know that does not exist, and we expect it to return null, and we are going to test that it returns null. If these two test cases passes, that would be great. So let's start with the first one. So how do you write a test? A test is simply a method. And for us to be able to do that, I'm going to wire in the JPR, the country repository so i'm going to say at auto wired uh private country repository country repository repository okay so uh yeah so let's test the, the find by id so i'm going to say public void find tests find by id okay so it doesn't take no parameter so what we are going to do is we are going to find a country by ID. So for instance, if I go to this application and go to countries, and you can see we have a number of countries. Um, if I go to this one, we have, okay. So the IDs are not showing up here, but I think this ID is maybe from one to 15 or thereabout. So it means that if I pass in an ID like 100 or 1000, I know it's a number, it's not going to be there. But if I pass an ID like four, Let's see, let me, yeah, okay, we have ID 1, and we also have ID 20, okay. So let me uh, use ID of 2, for instance. 
So we are going to say, um, just give me one second, let me just make sure, okay. So I'm going to say country, country is equal to country repository, sorry, is equal to repository to find by ID and I'm going to give it a uh, two, okay? So, one second, do we have, so we, we are going to add here or else, or else not, okay? Okay, so we are expected to return uh, something. Okay, so we are going to assert, assert not null uh, country. Okay, so we are going to assert that what is returned is not null. So I'm going to uh, come here and say more actions, import static method, and that is fine. So this is the first test we've written now. So I'm going to stop this application from running. So after writing the method like this, you need to now annotate that method with a test annotation for you to be able to run it. So I'm going to say add test. So once you annotate it with a test annotation, then you'll be able to run it as a unit test. So at this point, if I run, if I run the test now, so I'm going to click on this button, run find by ID. And I expect that this test will pass but then it doesn't pass so let's see okay so i think we need to uh specify a configuration because uh the, in this case we are now trying to tell it to use the same database we are going to be using in this case because if you are configuring a test to run it needs to run uh based on a test database okay in a test environment but this one we are trying to use our development database and that's why we're going to say auto configure test database replace equal to auto configure test database or replace none. So it's gonna replace it's gonna use the existing database. So I'm going to run it one more time. So run and let's see what happens here. Okay. So you can see now that the test passed successfully. And if I click here you can see uh, the test results. Okay actually the test passed. Okay, so you can actually write a different one. For instance, if I write a different test now, and this one, I'm gonna write a test that is going to fail. So I'm going to write uh, a test, this time test find by ID uh, empty, okay? So I'm going, to pass, um, I'm going to pass in an ID that I know that is not there. And I want this test to fail. A test failing does not mean that you have an exception. It simply means a test fails and your application is very much okay. So I'm passing an ID, for instance, 100, and I'm going to assert not null, and you're gonna see that this test is gonna fail. And if you wanna run all the tests, I think you can actually come here and say run country test, and it's gonna run all the test cases and tells you which one fails and which one passes. So let's see. So you can see that there are two tests, one failed and one passed. So it means that the ap application is working correctly because the test failed because we expect it to fail because we passed in a wrong ID. So in this case, we know that our repository, our controllers or our API is working. We can actually write uh, modify this test to actually uh, also be a wrong, the wrong um, ID that does not exist. But in this case, we are going to say assert null. In this case, this test is going to is going to pass because we are using assert null, and we expect to have okay test find by ID. I'm going to call it null. Okay. So at this time, I expect this uh, last test here to pass because I'm asserting it to be null. So I want it to be, I, I expect it to be null and th that is what it's going to be. So I'm going to click here again to run country test. I can actually, actually click here. I can actually just click here, run test. So there's gonna be two tests that's gonna pass and one is going to fail. And this is exactly what we should have right now. Okay, so I run only one single one, so let me just run it one more time.
Okay, so you can see that there are three tests now I've, I've written and two pass and one of them fails. So I just want to give you a taste of how to write unit tests in uh, in, 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 in Spring Boot using uh, JUnit. You can see JUnit right here. So later on in a, in a much bigger, in a much uh, more uh, detailed video, I'm going to explain more on how to write unit tests. For now, we are going to stop here. Just take note that if you are asked about unit tests, can you write a unit test? Say yes, you can write it. And you can do something like this. Uh, although there are many other methods like a sat not equals, a sat equals, and so on. But we are going to be talking about this a little later. So let's see where we are in the list of items. So now we've completed unit tests. We are going to be now talking about in page cross. Now, what is in page cross? Wait and see in the next video. Please subscribe so that you don't miss an update. Also, like this video, reach out to me in my social network profiles, and be sure that I'm going to give you the support you need. I remain Times on the Tech Pro, and I'm always there for you.